Okay, so continuing our series on neurodivergent coworkers, I wanna just briefly talk about interviewing. So, so many times, I know companies are getting much better about having consistent hiring processes, which is great, but there's still an element of gut feel. And I want to just bring up just three quick things to keep in the back of your mind when you're hiring that may be different with neurodivergent coworkers, but it doesn't mean it's, it's a bad thing or that we should not hire them because of it. One is eye contact. Sometimes it's really hard for neurodivergent people just to maintain the, the right amount of eye contact. I don't know what the right is, but, but kind of a comfortable amount. So sometimes they use too much, sometimes they don't use enough. Um, and some of those like social cues are, are just a little bit harder for them to kind of figure out and, and conform to what the, the societal norm is. Also, small talk can be really hard, especially when you're kind of getting comfortable in the beginning of an interview. Some of that kind of just casual conversation can be extra challenging. And also, people can tend to take things a little bit more literally if they're neurodivergent. Um, so if they answer a question very literally, just keep that in the back of your mind, that that could be a part of just how their brain is wired. On the flip side, you you will hopefully, you know, be screening for all the things that are necessary for the actual position. If it's a finance position, you obviously want to make sure the person's detailed and, you know, recognizing patterns is actually a really strong neurodivergent trait that a lot of people are really strong in um, and could be a great benefit. Um, reading a PL, like all those things are really important to the position. How much eye contact a person makes usually isn't gonna, going to make or break them in the position itself, right? So let's just kind of keep that in mind as we're going through. And hopefully this helps. If you have any specific questions, keep them coming. I'd love to hear them. Uh, and I'll continue making videos to answer your questions.